Okay, here we go. Franklin House. This is a boy's bathroom. You see the pitches and everything. So we want to tear all this out and redo it. I don't particularly like this because you can never clean, so I want to do a standard curb system. All this remains the same. And then we have some extra space here. I want to steal from this space, come across and close this in, and then move the attic entrance over so we can make that bathroom bigger. All right, coming into here. Everything stays the same here. Bathroom. This is a total gut. We're gonna take that shower, turn the shower against the back wall. Toilet will go right here. And then here we'll do a cabinet pantry with a uh, vanity wrap around the corner to here. Fairly straightforward. I wanna get rid of the wood floors here over and make all that tile. It just makes it flow better. Okay, here we go. Here, we have some settling issues. I think from construction, they miscalculated the weight. We'll probably have to put a land beam going across here and transfer the load to the outside walls each direction. We'll wait for an engineer on that one. Coming in here, children's playroom. I want to turn this into an entertainment area. TV, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. In here, another total gut job. Customer just doesn't like it. And we're gonna put as big a shower and squeeze in here, elongated toilet. Might even keep the cubby, just redo it all, keeping the tub here. I do wanna push that tub back a little bit. Find some way to get it back. Maybe take this and turn this into a T, this cubby, and slide that faucet back into this pocket so we can get that tub over and just get that extra little bit of space. Plus, if the faucet is in here, it's much easier to reach anything you have in there, such as soaps and, and things of that nature. Pardon the sniffling, it's cold in this house. All right. Obviously, all the floors are going to need to be patched and refinished. All right, we'll go. Let's start here. Beautiful house. They put every turn here. There's the closet where the every turn comes up. I want to move this one and put it on this back wall because we have an air return here. I'm gonna put the air return on this right hand corner and leave the left as storage and we'll frame it in the best we can because we just can't do that. Here, cabinets come down. All trim and stuff remains the same. Cabinets come down and just basically a new backsplash. It was poorly done here. I want to take this door and turn this into a 32 inch door, keeping the, keeping this here and extending the opening to the right to help center it up on the wall a little better. Elongated toilet. Uh, maybe put in a regular vanity. I'll talk to the client about that. And then here I need to brainstorm what to do with this space. I'm thinking we'll probably just do cabinet stacks just to, cause I just hate wasting space. Here, this comes out and it goes on the other side of the house. We'll get to it in a minute. And we're going to put in a tri set of doors. Center door works, slave door left, slave door right. Let's all the light in. Close this, uh, this room off completely with a door, obviously, because it's a laundry room. We'll keep it as is. Then we're going to come out here. Arr. Screen and porch. Starting from this corner of the house, I'm gonna close all that all the way up to the roof line, close it in, beadboard, the whole shebang. We'll probably have to put a couple of vents in there just so moisture can breathe. Uh, screen door in the center. I wanna do the four feet by six feet screen panels, so that way if a kid or a dog runs through it, customer just orders a new panel and pops it in. 
And then obviously we'll have to put in a set of stairs like that right here. So people don't have to jump out of their house, obviously. Okay. Don't forget Leo center wall right here to make that a big laundry room. Here's the floors here. Since this is gapped, I want to put in a small piece of Luan just to, as a noise trap so noise doesn't go in here. All right, in here, this wall gets erased. This wall right here that I'm touching will be a continuation all the way to this side. The closet gets ripped out. All this gets torn up. Recenter. I'm standing where the bed goes. So I want to put the TV and electric fireplace here. A door will have to go here for the closet entrance. And then that door will just get shifted over about three inches with a pocket door. So when they go to the restroom at night, quick access to the toilet, this would be access. I wanted to keep these symmetrical, but I'm not sure if I can because this would require I just don't think I can. I think this door will wind up being a little farther over this way than this one would be this way because this is going to be a sitting area for her to read with a couch. All right, all this gets erased, redone. In here, I'm going to have to take this air return and put it right there so that cabinet space will go away and I'll talk to the client if they want this to be cabinet space or leave this as a fireplace. This room will be nothing but closet. This door gets erased. This one, I haven't asked the client specifically about the door, but because it has a deck, I was thinking maybe leave the door in here, but if they need extra space, we'll close it off. Full closet system. Our normal thing, you know, tall shorts, pockets, things like that made out of our normal material. And then in the center, uh, cabinet base on this side, Drawer, drawer with a pocket underneath the granite for her to sit and do makeup. And I think she should face it this way when she does it so she gets natural light coming into her face. Woo, lots to talk about. Here, this, we're going to strip it completely all the way down to studs. And we're going to wrap this a three quarter inch Vantac. We're going to do hurricane ties on the ceiling. We're going to screw all the baseboard into the joist and hurricane tie, hurricane tie those. Wrap the whole thing in three quarter inch plywood, screwed every six inches. And then we'll cover it with drywall. And we're going to put a hidden door system in here with a mag lock. And I'm thinking that we'll put the mag lock key code right here. And we can do a biometric fingerprint system or we can do a punch code, but this will be a mag lock hidden door so they can get into quickly. And when that mag lock shuts, they're, they're, they're locked in. I should have paused, but well, you get to see the whole house. Now, if you remember on the other side of the house was that, was that coat hanging system. I think we'll put it it's up to the client because we have to erase these windows anyway. We can either put it here or I can erase these windows that go to a bathroom we'll look at in a minute and put it here. Either or, doesn't matter. So all these windows get erased. This window gets erased. And then out here, I want to build, they want a three car garage. So I'm thinking two 16 foot doors and then a pedestrian door close to this door because that's where we have to put the staircase going upstairs. So let me walk out here. So I want to do a lift. I want to do a lift of about three feet. So coming off the corner of the house, I'm thinking maybe we may have to come out here. I think we'll come out here, do a three foot lift because what my worry is, is water rushing down into the garage. So I need to put, do a footer here, 
do enough brickle block to get lift so that when the rain hits we get the water channeled that way instead of in and through the garage that, that would be a disaster then up here we're going to tie in one foot below here and come straight off with the same roof which means this roof goes away so my thought is is pedestrian door here up to here and then the extra staircase going up to here and this be part of the office and or storage with the office over here or reverse it either way it all depends on how it draws out so okay so that's got that that taken care of also i'm gonna have the engineer design that back wall because that back wall is going to be about six seven foot tall so i need to make sure that we have that structurally secure Whew. in here cut and redo I already drawn the plans i guess it was good in this time i don't know i I've never put one in like that, but teaches them. Obviously, an elongated toilet. I don't know why they put round bolts in here. I'm curious if that was some kind of code back then for Williamson County. Um, what else? That, that. Of course, we have the structure underneath. We've got to get everything braced up. I think that covers I'm going to pause. Okay, I did forget a couple things. Um, koi pond gets erased. Fill it with dirt. Make that go away. I think we should keep the rock, though, because that can work somewhere else. Then, I don't need to show you underneath, but underneath the house in this back corner, they have a pump. What I want to do is put in a gravity drain. goes all the way down to that cedar tree or however far it needs to go till it sees light with a pop-up drain. No sense in having a pump when you can let Mother Nature do its work. Think that's it?